raise your drinks up casually. Raise your drinks, raise your drinks up, raise your drinks up casually. It's the Black Bourbon Family. Hey everyone, I'm Jason. And I'm Brandy. And we're the Black, Black Bourbon, Bourbon Family. Family. Now you know that if you see us twice in a week, we have something special for you. Right, Brandon? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that means Jason got me. <laughs> twice. <laughs> twice. Twice. Today, we have Thomas H. Handy. Sazerac. A member of the BTAC Buffalo Trace Antique Collection annual release. This bottle, the 2021, is coming in at a 129.9 proof. Mm. Six years old. MSRP. $120, which we were very fortunate enough to get it for. Secondary brandy. $650? Yeah, no. About $1,000 or more. Depending on this year, I think it's probably going to be more because they didn't have uh, the George T. Stag to come out. But anyway. Oh. We have Thomas H. Handy. We're going to do a review of Thomas H. Handy for you. You know, we've done a couple reviews ourselves, you know, off the camera. <laughs> Just a couple. <laughs> We're going to give you a cigar pairing. And then we are going to compare it with the 2020 Rye of the Year in our books. The hottest ride from 2020. <laughs> but let's go. Let's do it. All right. So just real briefly, Thomas H. Handy, just some background on him. He was born in Maryland. And when he got a little older, he moved to New Orleans and he went to work for a man by the name of John Schiller. So John had a bar that Thomas worked at. And as Thomas was in New Orleans, he began to see that a popular drink was the Sazerac. Now, this Sazerac, however, was made with brandy. 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 <laughs> and unfortunately, later on, uh, Mr. Schiller passed away. But Thomas H. Handy took over the shop that they worked at together. And what he did is he reinvented the Sazerac by replacing brandy with rye whiskey. And as they say, the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> the rest is history. That's right. So that's a little bit of background on him. Um, you know, Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, annual release, Buffalo Trace Distillery, highly, highly allocated. And we were very fortunate enough to get a bottle. All right, Brandy. All right. Let's go. Smell first. La -la -la -la. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely getting some cinnamon here. You getting some cinnamon? Oh, yeah. And I'm getting that mint. That spirit mint kicking in, huh? Yeah, getting some um, some cherries. You getting some cherries, okay? And I'm getting a little bit of uh, just a tad bit of like a sweet, like uh, I don't know if it's caramel or brown sugar, but it's a little sweetness to it. it smells delicious. It smells very good, very very good. You ready? I'm ready. I get that cinnamon that you're talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> See how he was playing with my emotions? I was like, yes, let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers. And while 
Jason is um, mm. tasting, mm -hmm. please give us a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. uh, subscribe to our channel. <laughs> <laughs> Follow us on Instagram. <laughs> And am I missing something? Turn on your notifications oh, on yes. YouTube. That's it. <laughs> All right. So you go ahead. I'll tell them a little bit of what I got. Okay. So that spearmint that I was talking about, I got that in the taste. That sweetness turns out for me, happened to be a little bit of chocolate. Okay. It's like a chocolate note. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm definitely getting some. <laughs> she gotta take her time. Yeah, well, I'm getting that spice for sure. And while she's telling you, look at these legs. Oh wow. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Ooh we. Um, definitely getting that uh, spice of that cinnamon. Some really good thick sweetness. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's got a little bit of hint of a little bit of just a tad bit of dryness. <laughs> Just and I think that's like, like a raisin. Mmm. Okay. But it's it's so good. Mm-hmm. 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 And so, while we're tasting, Patreon members, mm. listen. Mmm. Tell them. This is the bottle of the month that you will um will be drawing for a winner to get a sample. That's right. So we will be uh, putting together that drawing pretty soon. And we'll, so stay tuned, mm -hmm. stay tuned <laughs> <laughs> for the video mm -hmm. um, and to see if you won. Because last month our friend Terrence won a sample of the Four Roses limited edition as well as Joseph Magnus Ooh, cigar, cigar blend, blend. Mm. batch 46 so Brandy this is great I mean it has a good finish to it I mean that mouthfeel is good yeah. it's very oily you know all the things that you said about it I'm not gonna repeat those this is great it's very very good now for my cigar smokers I have today the Undercrown 10 this is a Nicaraguan cigar. It's about 11 bucks. Full body cigar with notes of chocolate, leather, some spice to it. This size right here is the Robusto. It's a five by 50. Um, and I've smoked, I have a couple of these. I've smoked this with the Thomas Handy. <laughs> mm. Excellent pair. And you should be able to find this um, at the local maybe at your local stores or online but very good highly recommended all right brandy so let's move these glasses to the side yes let's get ready for the battle royal so we mentioned we were going to be comparing this thomas h handy to the 2020 hot rye <laughs> the hot rye the Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof rye from 2020. So real quick on that, this is 131 proof, 131.6 proof. Jack Daniels has a special release every year. And in 2020, it was this. It was a great, it is a great rye. And we didn't do a review on it, but just take it from, you know, it was good. I mean, look at the bottle, Brandy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, are we ready? I think so. Let's go. All right. So, we put letters under each one, each other's. Uh, oh, yes. We, we did a, a blind pour for each other. Yep. Um, so Jason did mine, I did his, and so here we are. All right. Mmm, this smells good. Mmm. This one smells good too. Ooh. Wow. 
Definitely getting some cinnamon. You getting cinnamon? I'm getting a little, uh... Mmm. I'm trying to keep going with yours. I'm okay. sorry. Um, some cherries and... But definitely some spices in here. And see, that's what I'm getting in all of mine, too. Okay. I'm getting, like... Oh, yeah. What she said. I'm getting the cinnamon, <laughs> the cherry, the mint. <laughs> Y'all know I don't smell right. wrong. <laughs> she like, okay, I'm done. Mmm. So, this one actually is reminding me of Thomas H. Handy. So, okay. I'm getting that raisin, I'm mm -hmm. getting the, the cinnamon. Mm hmm um and just that spice that sweetness that 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 goodness that i was enjoying when i was doing the review and that's exactly what i'm getting oh same thing same thing mm -hmm. what letter is yours mine is a what's yours oh boy it's b, b. okay just making sure you know she may have looked and saw what I put for hers and something. How we get the same, but we got different letters. Okay, come on. Mm. All right. Mm. Now this one, what you getting? I'm getting bananas, like hitting me. Hitting, hitting. I mean, bananas is hitting. <laughs> hitting. <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> um, no, this bananas is hitting me. Some I got. <laughs> Oh, did I? I jumped. I'm sorry. I jumped in line. I'm sorry. Go ahead. What mm -mm, you got? Mm -mm, I'm done. <laughs> That's all you got? Because it's obvious we sm we smelling the same thing. <laughs> and some spice. Let me beat you to the punch on that one. Oh, uh, as she's drinking. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, this is good. This is very good. Not, um, I'm gonna beat you too. It's not as powerful as the first one that I had since she's still drinking. I'm gonna have to say something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. So, I was gonna say, <laughs> not as thick and rich as the first one, but mm -hmm. it's, it's actually got a kick to it too. Oh, yeah, mine too. Mm. All right, I know who I think won. Now, what I will say yeah. is that these are both some great rides. The legs on this one's good too. The legs are good. Mm, sorry. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's good stuff. Either way, these are both great. Yep. So, if you have an opportunity to get either one, yep. Get them. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> so who you got? Um. Who you with? Who you with? I am with. <laughs> I'm with the first one. The just, first. Yeah. One. That, that thickness, that sweetness, that is just overall just a great, great, great bourbon. Uh, right. right. <laughs> used to doing bourbon. I know. Rye. Mm -hmm. My apologies. But I'll I'll go with the, the, first, the one. first one. And I'm gonna be quick and say I'm going with my first one too. Alright Brandy, let's tell them. Alright, so you want me to tell them who you, who you pick first? Go ahead. Alright. Brandy picked Thomas H. Handy. <laughs> what, what was yours? Because I, you told me your letter was. Yeah, but uh, you didn't tell me yours. I did. I told you mine was oh, A. Oh, okay. Sorry. And yours is B. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, then that means that Jason picked <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, Thomas H. H. Handy, Handy as well. So we both 
actually thoroughly enjoy yep. Thomas H. Handy. Um, but of course, we enjoy the Jack Daniels. Yeah. Single barrel, barrel proof rye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading a little bit. Oh, it's not Lord. all. It's not all up here, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, thank you, everyone. We hope that if you have this, you have it. You can try it, and if you get a chance to get this one, that you check it out as well. We thank you for joining us today, and we will see you next time. Cheers.